welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i'm taylor i love teaching women how to use peptides how to optimize their hormones lose fat build muscle all at the same time and how to live a more optimal lifestyle so today's video i am coming at you again from my kitchen living room area to talk to you guys and to show you guys how i make my bpc tb500 eye drops now this is definitely um something that i have recently have been trying and i've really been liking it i personally wear contacts and i'm always on the hunt on the search and the find for anything that's going to help repair my vision because it's definitely something that i want to improve on and i definitely want to keep improving my vision as i age just because vision is just something that does deteriorate as we age in time. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make these eye drop blends. And this is something I like to do these BPC TB500 eye drops at night. Because I wear contacts, I don't like doing this um, during the day when I have to have my contacts in. So I like putting these drops in at night after I take all of my makeup off, my contacts are out, I just wear my glasses. And I also feel like putting them in during the evening, it just helps the peptides really kind of like go in and do more of the repairing work that they're trying to do. And I just feel like when I'm, if I do that during the day when I'm, you know, having to use my vision, I'm having to be active, I just feel like it's gonna be more strenuous on the eye and the peptides just won't be able to get in there and do the job and do the healing procedures that I'm wanting them to do. So why BPC and TB500? These are going to be really two great peptides to use for um, eye health and combining these together and then putting them into a dropper form directly into the eye is going to be super beneficial because BPC is going to help so much with nerve protection. It's going to help improve your blood circulation and your blood flow. And it's also going to help with deepening um, certain parts of the eye, our retina and our optic nerve. So that's why BPC is in here. And then we have our TB500, which is going to help so much with our cornea health, which is going to be the front part of the eye. It's also going to help, again, reduce inflammation, but then it's also going to help so much supporting tear production. Now, personally for me, I definitely... This was even my life prior to having contacts. I always suffered from having dry eyes and my dry eyes are always burning, always drying. And this is prior before having to wear glasses or contacts. And I didn't have to do glasses or contacts until I was an adult. Like I had glasses like as a teen in school for reading. Let's be honest, I didn't wear them because I didn't like the way I looked in them. And then I would also, I would say like, um, as I got older, I would definitely use them for reading. And then I would say about like eight, no, maybe like six years ago is when I started wearing um, contacts and having to make that switch to a more permanent situation. So this is something that um, has been super beneficial for me. So I'm gonna just show you exactly how I make these eye drops. So I'm gonna start off, I have a vial here of BBC and TB500 blend this is um that has five milligrams each of bbc and tb500 mixed together they're not separate um so i'm going to now use contact solution so this is what i'm going to be using to reconstitute this peptide i'm not going to be using bacteriostatic water there's alcohol in that and that would burn tremendously if you put that into your eye so i'm going to be using my contact solution or you can just use um saline solution and then i also have a clean glass dropper bottle super tiny little dropper bottle is what i'm going to use i could have gotten like actual like plastic container eye drop um plain op driver but i wanted to use a glass vial just because it's going to be a little bit more um sterile and you know i don't want my peptides sitting in plastic so i could have done that but i just liked personally the glass vial and i also just thought that was just such a cute little vial but um that is what i'm going to be using so i'm going to basically reconstitute this with three milliliters of my contact solution. Now, 
What's going to be fun about this is that I didn't realize until I sat down to film this video is that I am out of my 23 gauge um, syringe needles, um, which would fit three mLs of water perfectly. So I'm going to have to go in and use my smaller syringes, such as like um, the 31 gauge um, syringe. So that's what we're going to use, unfortunately, for today, because I didn't know until I sat down with them, unless we didn't have any more. So I cannot get this off. <laughs> Now this type of needle that I'm using right here is a 25 gauge needle that actually has it where you can actually take um, the needle cap off and then you could put a different size needle on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this syringe up with my contact solution and then I'm going to pop this lid back on. You can do this with a peptide size needle too. Again, 23 gauge would work so much better with this. So I'm just going to start slowly pouring that, injecting that in. Do that again. I'm going to put the lid back on. Second one going in. I like my favorite part of using peptides. But back out and we're gonna refill it one more time. So this is gonna be the total of our three milliliters of water. Just wanna make sure that we got all the air bubbles out. Let's stop her back in. All of our back, or I keep saying backwater because I'm so used to using backwater. All of the contact solution or saline solution is now in this peptide vial. Just want to wait a few more minutes and let this completely dissolve. You could have used these needles and again, taking your insulin needle, taking that off and pouring your contact solution into that and doing it the same way. I just know that that needle is a little bit bigger, so it's going to be a little bit quicker to extract the peptide. Okay, so now that this is completely dissolved, we can see that this is now completely dissolved. Peptide is good to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull all this out and put it into my eye drop bottle. So let's go in and extract all of this. So you just wanna kind of push some air into there. Just so you guys can see. We're just literally gonna do this until we transfer everything into this bottle. So we're just transferring our peptide right into this bottle. See how like there's a little bit of an air bubble. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not. And then I just kind of pushed it up to get that air bubble out. And then we go back and withdraw. This is the last bit. This is like why these like little Vials. I honestly just got these little glass dropper vials from Amazon and they're perfect. So now right here we have our BBC TB500 eye drops. Now I'm going to keep these in the refrigerator and then I take them at night and I put one drop in each eye. So literally you don't need a lot. It's like literally one drop. That's it. And I always, when I put these in, I always go in, I put these in after my face is clean, after all the makeup is gone. You definitely don't want to have any makeup on, on your eyes when you're using these, just because of, you know, any product getting in there, it's gonna, you know, it could maybe affect how the peptide is going to work as good, um, in my opinion. So I definitely make sure I take all my makeup off. I don't wear, um, eyelash extensions, but I know a lot of women do. So I would definitely just be mindful of using these. If you have eyelash extensions to really be mindful that you're really getting it directly into the eye, you're not getting it near any of that, um, glue where those extensions are. But I always try to go in and put mine right in at just like that tear dot area and close my eye, put it in there. And then you blink your eye open and it goes right in. 
it's super easy. I would say like it definitely, it doesn't burn. Um, you can definitely, you can feel it a little bit. It does have like a little bit of a slight like feeling, but honestly, like I think those cooling numbing eye drop things that people like to use are a lot worse. But I will say with these eye drops, um, keep them in, I keep them in the fridge and I do like to use these um, pretty quick. Like this is not something that I like to use and then like use it once in a while. I use these every day until this bottle is gone because this doesn't this does not have bacteriostatic water in it it has a contact solution so there's not going to be any alcohol in this to act as a preservative to help keep um, any bacteria from forming with it now do i think bacteria would form with it if i use it right away no but if i let these sitting in like i wouldn't use these if i had this like sitting in my fridge for two months like i make them as you know, as I know, I'm going to use up that bottle until it's gone. Um, rotation wise, like I'm not super concerned about like, oh, you know, like when I talk about eight weeks on, eight weeks off, I'm not super concerned about that because like it is such a smaller amount is going into the eye. But this is something that like I'll do it for a while and then maybe I like don't do it. And I've, I've taken these. I wouldn't say like I saw like a huge like my vision didn't change overnight by any means or even over a course of using one one bottle of this um what i did notice is that like the next day just like little things like i was able to read a little bit without having my contacts or glasses on it was like things that were up close and my vision just seemed sharper so like when i walked outside i walk every morning um that's like part of my hunter's routine. We walk every morning, we take our dogs for a walk. And what I noticed after like one use of using it is that my vision seemed um, sharper and everything seemed clearer. So I would say like colors on the trees and the colors outside just seemed a lot more vivid. It wasn't anything like, oh my goodness, like I don't need my contacts or my glasses anymore. But I did notice that sharpness um, was there, so. One thing I want to show because I know people are probably going to ask is how many units is one drop? So let's measure that out. So this, put one drop in here. This actually ends up being about three units. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, um, but it ends up being about three units per eye and it gives us a little bit of a rough idea that is about anywhere between like 50 micrograms um is what we're about is what we're putting into our eyes now another thing that i will pair with these eye drops is i like to use um the bioregular vestlutin um this bioregulator right here is going to be super beneficial to pair with these eye drops these would pair very well together if you um, are interested in bioregulators, Vestlutin along with these eye drops are a really good combo. I do this um, from time to time. I have been using these eye drops by themselves before ever starting the Vestlutin, but these bioregulators is the bi it's one of the bioregulators for your eyes and for your vision. So um, that I'm going to pair together. And if you're interested in comboing it, this would be my recommendation that I like to use. So that's kind of a little extra that um little extra thing that pairs well with these eye drops so these um these drops can definitely make a difference again not going to completely give you 2020 vision overnight but it has helped with sharpening my vision and my eyesight um so it's a little bit sharper and if i can get it a little bit sharper where i can prevent having to change my prescription with my contacts and with my glasses and strengthening my eyes along with peptides and bioregulators. I'm definitely willing to give it a try. This is just kind of something that I want to do. I definitely am using this more as a research guinea pig on myself. So this is just what I'm doing. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested um, with working with me more, go check out the Feminine Flow Collective, my private women's group. If you haven't already, sign up for my emails. There's a link 
in the description below for my link tree that will take you where you can sign up for my emails to the peptide cheat sheet. There's also, if you don't want the peptide cheat sheet, you just want to sign up for the emails. There's a link in that. And in my emails, I share where I get all of these products. So don't forget to sign up, check that out. Until next time, guys, I cannot thank you enough for watching and I cannot wait to talk to you again soon. Thank you.